one of the things that we try to do in our product models is to remove or eliminate uh, clashes or interferences. And the real reason is that we want to take account uh, of all those uh, clashes and add penetration so that on the production floor, they're not adding these field penetrations, which can be very costly and time consuming and doesn't give you a good quality um, result. <clears throat> Uh, so there's a couple strategies that uh, to do clashes with Ship Constructor. One is to do it within Ship Constructor. Uh, the other one is to leverage Navisworks, uh, which is the workflow that I'm going to show you here. Uh, so here I have my whole uh, project. Um, usually when you're doing clashes, you might, depending if you're doing the final penetrations or if you're just doing a block, you might just load a, a particular portion of your project. Uh, so to do uh, clashes, uh, if you go to your Home tab, and go to Clash Detective. Um, I should mention that uh, you have to use Navisworks Manage to do clashes. Um, the Simulate does not have this feature set. So if you go to Clash Detective and then you go to an Add Test, um, creates a test, you can add a new one uh, or not, uh, or sorry, rename it or not. Um, and for this clash, I'm just going to do um, pick some drawings at, uh, of in the block 322. So I'm going to select um, all the items in on the left hand side. So you specify what drawings or what uh, selection set you want to um, intersect the other ones. You don't have to do your whole project if you want, even just by part types. If you just want to do a pipe with uh, structure, you'll be able to do that. If you just want to do your HVAC, uh, so there's different, several different strategies that you can use to um, determine what you want to clash here. So if I just select everything on the left and okay, um, then you start specifying your tolerance. I'm going to use 0.1 meters, which is fine. Um, if I want to change the rules, uh, I can do some um, rules here. Uh, in this case, I just have uh, ignore items in the same file. Uh, you don't need that checked, but it all depends on what you are checking. So once you sell, set that up, you just click on uh, Run Test, and this will go and, and uh, determine all the clashes between uh, the items that I have actually selected. So the results are here. Um, so it found... 27 clashes, which is actually not too bad. I would have expected a little bit more since there's absolutely no penetrations yet. Um, so some of the options you have is as you select the different penetrations or different uh, clashes, it actually highlights them and uh, of the two objects. Um, if you actually get uh, the rest of the model, that's because your display setting uh, is set to... Um, show the rest. If you just have hide others, it just shows you the items that are being in the clash. But if you want to see it where they are in the project, you can uncheck that and it will um, uh, show you as well as you can highlight all clashes at once. Several different ways uh, to show that. So once you have this clash, it's time to actually add a penetration between these two parts. Um, so you know the parts here, if we just go here and go to, uh, to properties, oops. Um, properties and select these parts. It does have um, uh, all the ship constructor information. So that's in uh, uh, drawing CTM08. Uh, and this is in a particular drawing as well and have all the properties. Uh, so you can uh, find the drawing name and navigate it uh, ship constructor either using the project explorer or navigator um, but the easiest way is really just to uh, right click on these items and click on switch back and what this will do is that um, it will load the drawing in, in ship constructor so this is navisworks working there's nothing that i've done here um, the only thing that you have to do ahead of time is to connect to the project and type in the command nw load and the NW load just communicates with uh, Navisworks, so it knows. Um, so Navisworks knows where Ship Constructor is. So as you can see, it opened up the drawing and it actually uh, changed the view and selected the part exactly how my Navisworks is located. So this is in the exact same orientation as my auto or my Ship Constructor drawing. 
So I can do the same also with uh, the structure drawing. So here my uh, structure drawing being opened. So it's open. So if I go back to my pipe drawing, and this is the penetration. So now it's I have to get this drawing into uh, to create the penetration. So I can do uh, use my M link or my model link up here, uh, and I know the the drawing uh, name. And I'm just using the name that's in my tab here. I select it, click OK, and then it brings my uh, part or my uh, parts that's in the drawing into this project. Then I go to uh, the penetration. I want to add an individual in this case. Uh, select my structure part, which is here. Select my penetrator, which is here. So it brings my penetration manager. With the penetration, uh, gives me my penetration standard. Uh, the way my catalog set, it um, gives me the only penetration that's available for this spec. Uh, I'm going to set it to be applied, and what this does is it just automatically cuts it. Uh, depending on uh, the workflow that you have, there might be um, uh, um, approval status um, workflow that's required, but in this case, uh, there's not. So request penetration, click OK, and then my penetration is created in my structure part. So if I save this drawing, and then what you'll see now is that uh, if, when I go to my uh, structure drawing and I uh, reload this information, you'll see that it's uh, loaded with that penetration cut. So now if we go back to uh, Navisworks and we do a refresh into this project, and then go back to my clash, you will see that now that there is no more clash, that this one is being resolved. So you can go and click on resolved and move on to the next one. And you don't have to do them uh, all at once or one at a time. You can do them uh, several at a time. And yeah, so I hope that was uh, useful.